Hey everyone, I'm back here again and today or tonight I should say on this Friday night I have my friend Heather McDonald, right? And yeah. I met Heather at Omega this past summer when we did an intensive with Alex and Alison Gray. And it was such a pleasure to meet you there. And thank you for thank being you. here. Of course. I love having these conversations. So tell me, how did you become an artist? <laughs> so um, when I was, well, in like kindergarten, basically, since I was picking up a pencil, um, I would just start drawing shapes. Uh, and it slowly evolved uh, through school because I constantly had a pen or a pencil in school. So <laughs> when I'd get bored or disinterested, I would just immediately, you know, start doodling, drawing. Um, and <clears throat> I probably, it was always just doodles and little things until about high school when I heard that the hand was the hardest thing to draw. So that became basically the only thing I was drawing was my own hands. I would sit in class and it's great because you can position your hand in so many ways and just have a constant model. So <laughs> that was what I, that was the only thing I focused on for a while. I mean, I did like little things in between. Um, were you? Uh huh? How old were you when you did that? Um, maybe like 15-ish and up. I, I was just drawing hands through high school. And it did help with shape and proportion quite a bit. Um, and I didn't realize why hands are difficult to draw. I just heard they are. So I was like, okay. And, <laughs> and then I heard portraits were hard to draw. And I'm still not very good at those. I don't... I'm not as dedicated to practicing those, but um, yeah, it all just started with triangles, circles, um, hearts. I used to draw these little characters from single shapes. So I'd have like triangle people with a triangle head, triangle body, like triangle arms, um, heart people. So they have heart face, heart eyes, yeah. uh, heart butt, all that. <laughs> I totally identify with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you say that you're still finding yourself when it comes to art? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're Most still young. definitely. That's why I'm asking that question because you're still so young. Yeah, I'm 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have <laughs> a lot of time, but mm -hmm. it, don't stray. <laughs> Stay on. Yeah, yeah. I strayed like after after high school, I kind of just was like, you know, got into a low kind of funk and just dropped art for a couple years and then kind of realized like I wasn't in a state of inspiration mm -hmm. and um, needed to get back to that. And it's just, it's been like constant. <laughs> it seems like I have constant ideas and it's, um, it's awesome. <laughs> so what kind of art do you love making? so far what's your favorite thing to do when it comes to art making? um well sketchbook stuff never gets old and i like i like sketchbook because it's not like it's going to be this grand thing it's just my ideas that i'm getting down um so pencils are always like pen or pencils are always a go-to but I really love acrylics and watercolor. I especially like to do mixed medium of watercolor and then acrylic on top. Because um, it makes a really cool background when you just have a little element of watercolor, I think. <coughs> yeah. I saw one of your recent pieces, the one that looks like a Grateful Dead poster. It, it's awesome based people. after the Grateful Dead. I know. <laughs> I I, it, it must be. <laughs> Yep. Have it around. I sold it. Samples? It's, no. Oh. I, I'm sadly not in New York right now, so all I have is my, like my sketchbook with me, which I've had for like a couple months, and it's 
I have many different sketchbooks and this is my sketchbook that's like, I'm like, eh, I don't care. It's just ideas, you know. Uh, I don't want people to like it. This is for me. Yeah. So uh, it's not the, it's technically not like the, the best looking stuff, but it's it's something. Um, oh, don't say that. Well, <laughs> but in comparison yeah. to other pieces that I have. Yeah. <laughs> and we all do that to ourselves it's so sad but it's <laughs> yeah um, so I guess people will just have to follow you to see your work <laughs> well, I, I do have a few in here I'm willing to show okay. um, well, if, if you would like to see some this sure. is just, just a um, I have to spend too much time. oh wow look at that now that could become an amazing painting it is a little bit of watercolor and pen yeah um but yeah these are all just me saying i don't care i just want to get this idea down nice um you work a lot with no i'll, I'll just share a few more. huh you work with watercolor on your sketch bag yep nice yep this is um Copic markers. I've just started with these types of markers. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that you also um, get into inspired states through meditation. Um, so a couple of like the piece I just showed was right after a meditation. I had drawn that. Um, and this is another piece that was kind of inspired from meditation. And I was in the center of this kind of, um, and I didn't quite get the idea down, but I don't know if you ever experienced like visualizations, but I so often experience these mm -hmm. like orbs um, and they can be doing so many different things, but they were just like leaving my body this time but i've had them swirling and entering nice. um so many so many different things and then i just have one more it's unfinished but i'm really happy with it and i'm going to make it a painting it's oh. not you <laughs> i promise oh are you sure <laughs> <laughs> but um this one i'm calling caught up nice. in fantasy um and it's um I did I'm sorry did you ask something no no I said that's a nice one I like it I, I want to see it oh, in, in a painting that'd be so awesome yeah yeah this was just pencils to get the idea down and I, I know what I'll do a little differently yeah but um basically the idea behind it is like when you get caught in your own fantasies we all do we have you know make up all these ideas and get lost in our head um yeah, and and that's just where it came from. <laughs> um, so, can you describe your creative process? Um, I think it it varies widely. Um, for this sketchbook, a lot of it is just, you know, I just want to get lines on the paper and see where my imagination goes. Um, but meditation is a part of the creative process for me at times. It's not always, um, color inspires me probably largely because, um, yeah, just always like playing with colors. And I think that, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's kind of hard to describe a creative process because it's very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> you just spoke a little bit about that when you said that you visualize those orbs. That's part of it, right? And then so like, how do you decide that that's what you're going to capture? And like, what medium do um, you want to capture it with? Yeah, a lot of like the, the ideas, they just come to me, they just appear. So it's just whatever medium suits it best. I do think about it um, a while before doing it. So some of the like visions that I've had, like 
watercolors like a necessary part of the background while others are completely acrylic. Um, and then others are just pencil sketch. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Something you said that they just appear. Isn't that so interesting how that happens? Like they Yeah. Just you experience that too. Yeah. I think okay. every artist does. Especially yeah, when, when it's it. not um especially when we're not doing something live, like a live painting. If you're trying to create something otherworldly or something yeah. abstract, they just appear. <laughs> yeah, and there are even times, um, a lot of times where I'll just either wake up or I'll be falling asleep and then this vivid idea will appear to me and sometimes it's so annoying because I'm so tired and then I'm like oh, I have to get this idea down because it's so good and if I'm if I'm so tired and I can't get it down I will just like obsess my focus on this image and like view every detail of it and every color and just try to remember like so much um and then when I wake up in the morning I'll do it <laughs> if you remember it <laughs> yeah. yeah there are some, it's so frustrating when i lose ideas but yeah. it happens yeah i hear you um so you're based in new york right you said that yep okay yep. and you don't have a website you just have instagram if people i do i do yeah oh, you have a it's, website um all my stuff is yeah yep what? Oh, I'm assuming you said you didn't see it. Um, it yeah, it's um. My pen. Where's my pen? Um, yeah, you can go ahead and say it. I'll take it later. I'll because I'm gonna be posting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, all of my um information is Heather's Art for Hearts. Uh, that's my website's name, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah, so you can find like more contact info there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, what is upcoming for you? I know you just mentioned you had something really special that's coming up. <laughs> yep. So um, it's not set in stone yet, but it's looking really good that I will be getting a job at Omega. Yay. And <laughs> yep. <laughs> now I want to go back just because you're going to be there. I know. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll be at the Visionary Art Intensive again this year with Alex and Allison. And <clears throat> they are just monumental, like in my, my artist path. Like the first time I went to Cosm uh, for Art Church, I mean, it's not. Like, <laughs> I'm in my head, I'm telling myself, oh, it wasn't that good of an idea. Yeah, it was whatever. But it's like, I was able to like purely communicate with um, some divine energy, I guess you could say, you know, um, and they really uh, teach you how to harness that and like, instead of having the spontaneous visions, you know, like at the art intensive, they teach you how to bring them to you, which is so cool. And I never would have imagined like that's even possible because like when I was younger, like I would get these little glimpses and I'd be like, oh, that's weird. Like, I'm, I don't, I don't know if anyone experiences that. Like, it's probably, I'm probably crazy. I can't tell anyone or I'll be put on medication. <laughs> like, <laughs> You know, everyone has the capacity to do that. We just kind of forget or yeah. we're programmed to forget. Let's just say that. <laughs> so what would, you, what would you like to see happen for you when it comes to art? What's your vision for your future? And what would you, what are your long-term goals for your art? Um, I would like to be like a career artist which I don't think is too unrealistic uh, anymore. I used to think it was like a crazy idea, but I think the more you meet artists who are doing it, it's like, that's 
you can do it. Uh, it's just uh, a matter of time and effort, I think. Mm -hmm. So that would be my goal. And then I just, I'm just doing little things. Like I'll do commissions for people. Um, uh, I, I did a few events over the summer and I'll probably be doing them again. I'm not sure though. It's, it depends on how things work out. But if I do, I'll be doing um, art walks in Goshen. Goshen, New York. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, so if anybody needs a commission, call Heather. She's your best. <laughs> <laughs> you can find her. I'll post that link when I'm done. Um, which artists are you stalking these days? <laughs> Aside from Alex um, Allison and Amanda Sage and all those big ones, like anyone out there like that nobody has discovered yet? <laughs> oh, what's his name? They're always hiding those like. Oh, I can't remember his name. Oh, that sucks. I'm, I'm like remembering all his paintings I love. Hmm. You'll have to send that to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can, you can uh, put it in the description. Um, yeah. Vincent Van Gogh has been my inspiration from the start, actually, like in high school when I was just beginning drawing. Um, like all of his pieces just speak to me in some way that's like almost unexplainable. Like, yeah, he's, I've, I've like studied his life and I just really, yeah, and so, something about it amazes me. It's kind of um, the story of many artists. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a universal artist story. But mm -hmm. yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. Who doesn't love Van Gogh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he had made, I think it was like $83 in his career as an artist, which I mentioned to a lot of people because um, as an artist, when, when you start going down this road it's like it's very easy to think you're not doing good enough or you could be doing more um but he had such a large impact on the world and only made so little you know um so it's it's also interesting because for his time a lot of people look down on his style and all those things and now he's so admired so mm. it's <laughs> it's it's a his life is just um yeah perfect <laughs> don't people wouldn't say his life is perfect but um you know <laughs> hey since you're here and we're talking about art and artists and whatnot um i recently came across this article that said that uh artists are shamans <laughs> I mean, right? We're constantly living in our imagination, and mostly that's what shamans work with. <laughs> like, Maybe. Yeah, I'm a shaman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, just <laughs> Maybe in some way. <laughs> if you were born again, would you want to be an artist slash shaman or no? I would want to be an artist, but like with a different artistic inclination. Like so, what? well, so I already have like other like little things I'm leaning into, but I haven't like done anything like complete. Mm -hmm. So like, well, in, in my current artist life, I would like to branch off into animation, sculpting, and um, I have had a few songs that have just come up in inspiration, but I'm not a musically inclined person, so I have the lyrics down and the melodies in my head, but um, mm -hmm. I, have, I don't really have a way of getting them out yet, so... Mm -hmm. If I were in another life, I would like to be a musician, but it's not really 
that's not what I'm drawn to. Well, you're still young. I mean, if you meet someone who writes music, you can just totally. Yeah, that's what I'm um, trusting the, the, the universe will bring to me is a, a, a musician who just, uh, yeah, gets hey, me. Hey, musicians can... out there, do you hear? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've already got music written. <laughs> okay. What superpower would you like to have? Or maybe you already have it, I don't know. Hmm. Flying. Oh, sweet. That's yeah. what I do in my, my dreams when I can. And speaking of dreams, like they're, they're also a big part of my art. Um, just like, oh, I had, I had this dream a while back where I was looking through a big pile of my artwork, all, all my current artwork that's unfinished. And then I was pulling out pieces that I hadn't made yet. I had never even thought of them. And I just had these images. So now I'm going to, when I lucid dream, I'm gonna try to just find art. And you know, it will be mine. <laughs> and then I'll make it when I wake up. Uh, I haven't done that yet. The only thing I do when I lucid dream is fly. So <laughs> maybe fly and find the art. And oh, uh, in the sky, yes. I'll just be flying by, and it'll be like images of my art. <laughs> oh. That's great. And actually, this um, the caught up in a fantasy picture I showed you. I had lucid dreamed I was flying through the clouds, and then there's a little sign that said fantasy and I flew down into it and then got tied up. Um, <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny cause I already had the idea and then just had the dream to like match it. And I just thought it was funny. So have you done any pieces that were based off of a dream? Um, I have, but I don't, like I don't have any of my art with me right now. So I don't, I haven't like, if I were in New York, I would have looked through all my art beforehand that I have and then show you it's it. Okay. It's okay. You can post all of it and say which one was a dream and then people will know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I tend to try to give a little background information about like, what inspired the art or you know if, it, if it's something that just comes to me um like I have this one that I would share if I had it with me it's I called it the masks of Maya which is illusion and it's a, a character reaching and they're holding two masks and then there's masks that are falling down around them from the sky mm -hmm. um and I don't have the poem with me either but I wrote a poem um, and they were both just inspired, um, not really dwelled upon too much. Um, and it was just about uh, the illusions that we, you know, mask ourselves with and are, we're viewing masks, I guess you could say, yeah. in some way. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that. And thank you for <laughs> having this conversation. Um, of course. It was really nice to see you. Thank you. You too. In touch and best of luck with everything. Thank you. Yeah. And the art making. And I hope to see you soon. Maybe this Thank summer, you. never know. And, um, <laughs> I have a silly little detail I wanted to share, um, but I, I couldn't sure. find a place to put it in the video, so the end is fine. Um, <laughs> Go for when it. I was, yeah, when I was little, my siblings and I were, like, kind of bad kids, and we would always, like, to draw on the walls. Um, so in, like, every room of our house, there were drawings on the walls from my siblings and I. Um, and we would, when we'd get in trouble for it, we'd hide behind the TV and we would draw all behind the television <laughs> and just hide our drawings behind things <laughs> on the funny. walls. My yeah. My used to draw them in front of me. 
like right <laughs> at her bedside and she'd be like you know like yeah I'm just drawing <laughs> so at least you were like a little bit more discreet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would your parents say when they found them uh you know like don't do that like what, what I don't I don't really remember I only I just remember having fun doing it <laughs> yeah I'm sure I mean it's a lot of fun <laughs> Yeah, and there's, the parents have, there's have like, to paint the house again. Yeah, I think there's like a rebellious spirit in artists, which is why like people like to do graffiti and stuff too. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like everything that people tell us not to do is what we want to do. So, yeah. Like, <clears throat> who are you to tell me what to do? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. It's lovely <laughs> being an artist, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. such a blessing. Like, oh, oh I wish, well. like, <laughs> I've. Do you want to share like something I've, else before I wrap up? Um, it's like, uh, I feel like you almost can't do enough art, you know? Once you start, it's like, you just want to keep going. Yeah, I totally hear you on that. So, yeah, I just want to encourage, like, everyone to uh, just create in any way that they enjoy to. Um, you know, art comes in many different forms, that's all. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Heather. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye.